Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is August 3rd, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Palantir is still up 28 cents, 2.56% at $11.20. Post-market, we are down by 5 cents. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. We stayed for a while into this congestion zone right here, going up and down and up and down here, trying to go up one day, but came back down. And now we are out of this for good. We are getting closer and closer to this resistance. We still have a little bit of a wick at the top of the body of the candle. So uh, this is the selling pressure that the stock is facing. So uh, this is still not like yesterday. This is not like a clean bull candle where uh, the sellers did not uh, win back some of the terrain that they have lost. But still, I'm kind of, I'm splitting here, here. The stock is going up. We should be happy and I should be happy and I should not complain. We broke $11 as a resistance right here. So super nice to see this. Looking at the one hour chart, nothing out of the ordinary. So nice day to day. So up the first three hours and then we pulled back a little bit back to 11 bucks and then we are starting to go back up a little bit but the last hour has been a little bit more difficult so we tried to go higher but we were pushed down so maybe tomorrow is going to give us another gear or another breath so that we can continue our move up we are in a channel so of course of course there's always the possibility that the stock can go back down to the support. We should not be surprised too much if this happens because this is what happens within the channel. The stock goes up and down like this. So right now we are in a nice run. So these past six days have been a nice run here, but uh, maybe this run is going to come down a little bit. We have an earnings call on August 8th. Uh, so this is going to be, I think, uh, critical for Palantir because maybe if we have something extremely good that is happening, maybe we can break outside of this upward channel and go up even faster. So that's always possible. In terms of the indicators at 95, uh, MACD is all great, RSI at 65, DMI all great. So. Let's keep watching. Let's eat popcorn and keep watching. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.